Hello, my humans. Today it was going to be an FCA Friday, but I decided to move it up to today, which is August 31st, the last day of August, because I'm going to be doing an inspired look from my favorite character from my favorite book book series and that is this Stephanie Plum from the Stephanie Plum series the first one is called one for the money Janet Ivanovich I know she may never see this but thank you so much life was changed love 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 this book highly recommend um if you've never heard of it you obviously didn't see my last video which I will link to up and above I give a better synopsis in another video too from uh a year or so ago. I will also link that, but let me give you a quick synopsis here. The titular character, Stephanie Plum, um, loses her job, and it was a pretty good paying job, and she becomes more and more desperate, selling things off to try to make it by, and so she finally ends up blackmailing her bail bondsman cousin into letting her be an amateur, unskilled bounty hunter, and the book goes through um, her, uh, her misadventures, really, and I really like that there's a really good touch of realism. How many times can I say the word really? There's a lot of realism in the Stephanie Plum series, with the exception of some of the holiday ones, but, um, those aren't canon canon. I don't know what that means. Anywho, um, Stephanie Plum just happens to have phenomenal luck as a bounty hunter, sort of. <laughs> Um, but she is savvy. She's from New Jersey. And there's a point in the book where she needs information. And she's like, I need information. I need it fast. How, what is the quickest way for me to get information in the area where I'm going to be in? So that's the look that we are going to go with. <clears throat> and so I've marked the page. I'm going to read it to you. If I have, if I can find the skill to kind of put the words down. I will try. Otherwise, they will just be in the description below because I don't, I'm not the most tech savvy person. I don't know what that was. My computer decided to go back. Uh, but <clears throat> it's on page 199 of the book. So I'm going to read to you what she describes herself as looking like. She said, I dressed in strappy sandals, a tight black knit mini skirt, a, st a stretchy red top with a low scoop neck that showed as much cleavage as possible given my bra size. She's described as having 34 Bs uh, previously. I did the mousse and spray thing with my hair so I had a lot of it. I lined my eyes in midnight blue, gunked them up with mascara, painted my mouth red, and hung the biggest brassiest earrings I owned from my lobes. I lacquered my nails to match my lips and checked myself out in the mirror. So that is the look. Let me just toss that on my bed over there. That is the look that we are aiming for. So we need a stretchy red top that's very low cut, preferably one that has a, instead of a plunging neckline, more of a scoopy neck. And we need a black mini skirt, some strappy sandals. It doesn't describe the color of the sandals, but I'm willing to go with that they're black. And then we need to uh, do our makeup to the best of my ability with that. So let us go find an outfit. Pretty much think I nailed it. So this is a pretty seductive top. Has a pretty low scoop to it. It does have these little kind of party fringes, but I don't think that will be in here. It's, it's a nice red, has some stretch to it. We got ourselves this bra, ooh la la, but yes, this is a really good push-up bra, and because of the design of this, it allows for deeper cut things, and the clear straps let you wear it with just about anything without um, interfering and seeing the straps while still having that support. So we got that going on to help bump up the cleavage to maximum. And then we're going to be wearing this mini skirt. It's not exactly a knit skirt, but it's close enough for our purposes. And then some strappy sandals. Um, little fun fact about these sandals. They are absolutely destroyed on the bottom because I've lived in them for like two, two and a half years. And I saved them just for this video. And yes, I do wear like a size five and a half. <laughs> Sometimes it can be a five. 
sometimes it's a six, but yeah, generally that's my foot size. So we got our outfit, but now we got to get our hair and makeup. Now, Stephanie Plum's hair, because I didn't read that, she has shoulder length brown hair that's extremely curly. I have wavy hair that is brown <laughs> and with some little like lighter highlights throughout it. And my hair is significantly longer, but we can still jersey it up. So uh, we're going to tease our hair and do all of that. Okay, so let's get on out of this. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like when it's straight out of thing. Like I said, it has waves to it. But we're going to enhance the curl a bit here. I don't have any tables really in my room, so I have to leave this on my floor. But I'm going to just take my larger chunks of my hair. See how often I curl my hair? I don't. So we're going to just enhance the curl a little bit here. This is going to take a minute. Okay, so now we're curled. Terribly, but it'll improve. I'm going to use a little bit of spray, not a whole lot. I'm using the got to be glued stuff, just so we know. And I'm going to go ahead, that was just a little bit just to try to maintain some of the curl. My hair, hair does not hold a curl very well. But I have some of this glue mousse, so I'm just going to kind of spoof this through here. That way when I do the thing, go ahead and like just smooth this around. There we go. And so before that fully dries, I'm going to go ahead and tease the curls back. I don't tease my hair very often. Makes it all tanglied. But that's okay. So we are going to, we're just going to keep doing this before the stuff all dries so that we get a whole bunch of hair that's big as Jersey life. All right, I don't think that we're going to get bigger or more Jersey than that. So we'll once again, a little heavier of the spray than we're going to do this. There. Wild and out. Lots of Jersey hair. I know hairstylist. But neither Stephanie Plum. So I think that is pretty good. Now let's get dressed before we do our makeup. All right. So we got hair to the gods, cleavage to the gods. Now we got to get that makeup on. Accessory time. All right. I'm going to start with makeup. And let me get my mirror. Put my mirror on the ground. All right. So the only thing that is specifically described is the red lipstick, red nails, boom, and midnight liner, midnight blue liner, and heavy on the mascara. Because at the time, Stephanie's poor. She probably can't afford... You know, eyeliner, I mean, fake eyelashes and eye glue. That's stuff she already had. Um, doesn't mention primer, but just to make my life a little easier, I'm going to take this contour palette from e.l.f., put on a little of the Milani primer, and just in this neutral color, I'm just going to take a little bit of that and go across my lid. It doesn't change the color of my lid significantly, because it doesn't say that she's wearing any other eyeshadow, 
this is just a little helpful thing for me for putting liner on to have just a little bit of a base on the eye nothing too much just a light little something okay now i don't have midnight blue but i'm not worried about it so i'm going to use this blue this more this is called bright blue from koki trying to make sure you guys can see while also doing the thing Okay, I'm going to get the other eye. Ooh, All right, so I'm going to take this dark blue called Velocity with this liner brush. And I'm just going to go right on top of that blue to kind of give it that nice dark midnight blue coloring. Okay, so we got this one significantly darker than this one. We just got to match it up. It didn't stop. Shu Uemuru Eyelash Curler. Trying to let you guys see and see what I'm doing in the mirror. Very <laughs> difficult. I'm using Lash Paradise in, I think it's Blackest Black. To go heavy on the eyeliner since it's described as gunking up her lashes. We're just going to get that on there. Nice and thick. Now, even though the book didn't describe her as wearing foundation, pretty sure that we went there. So just for a basic thing, I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast, the red cap. And I wear the color Light Natural Beige 840. Getting this all blended in with a sponge. Getting that red going with a liner. I'm going to use Revlon 660 Ultra HD in the color Romance. Clean up those corners. And last but not least, we got to throw on the biggest, brassiest hoops that we own. There aren't any pictures, so I just kind of have to go with this. All right, I need my mirror. Hold on. All right. Do we look Mandy's jersey enough to you? Could I get some information off of the streets? So that is my inspired Stephanie Plum look. I hope that you enjoyed this wild ride. Oh, wild. Um, but tell me, do you think that when you picture Stephanie Plum, maybe with better curly hair a little darker do you think that this is what you imagine when i describe that does this ma match up i think i did pretty good and i will see you all in the next video have a wonderful weekend and welcome autumn um even though i think autumn isn't until like the middle of uh or the end of september but school started pumpkin spice is out at starbucks so happy autumn to everyone and i will see you the next time we have to go and get some information. This shirt is really hard to <laughs> like actually get a bra to work with just because of this. <laughs> oh well.